It's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do Making art, you and me Trying to find something to believe Because I'm running wild, I ain't running free Still got a lot of shit left to see Stuck in this town, and the town's stuck in me Always trying to find another reason to leave But we sit at home Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can tell, I am still a little bit sick. If you saw the previous vlog that we did, so the Perth travel vlog, you guys probably already know that I caught a little cold over in Perth. So I'm still in recovery mode and I think it's actually gotten a little bit worse since I got home. I think I was just like holding out to see quokkas on that trip and then as soon as I got home it was just like a little bit of a downhill. But anyway, so I have my little bone broth here. I didn't finish all of it with breakfast as you would have seen in the previous clips. I just had some eggs for breakfast and I'm using the meadow and marrow bone broth for anybody who's curious. It's like a concentrate so you just put it into your mug with some hot water. I like to add collagen peptides as well because we all know that collagen peptides are really good for your gut health, skin, hair, nails, the whole shebang. So that is what I've got here with me today and I'm using the curry flavor. They do a whole bunch of nice little flavors but I will shut up for a bit and stop rambling. So today I thought I would do a little day in the life vlog. I woke up kind of late today. I got up at like 7.30 and I think it's because of the time difference in Perth versus Brisbane. Today is a Tuesday by the way so we got back on Sunday and Perth is two hours behind behind Brisbane. Yeah, two hours behind Brisbane. Kind of like sleeping an extra hour, which is a little bit annoying. When you start your day a little bit later, it just, I don't know, it feels weird. But first things first, one thing that I really wanted to share with you guys in today's vlog is a little skincare haul. We know that I don't use a great deal of skincare. We've seen it in my evening routine. We've done skincare routines before. I try to keep things generally fairly minimal. And the main reason for that is because I I really like to prioritize buying good food as opposed to buying products and in a lot of ways I do think that what we eat has much more of an impact on the health of our skin and our overall health than applying things to the skin if that makes sense but there were some really good deals over on nourished life this past week so I picked up a few things that had been kind of eyeballing for a while now most of you guys will be familiar with nourished life not a sponsored video of course nourished life would you like to sponsor me I'm happy to do that. But they basically stock a whole bunch of different natural beauty and natural makeup brands. I also needed to restock a few things that had run out. So it kind of made sense to like bundle it all together in one order. Just losing my voice. Okay, so we have our Nourish Life package. Maybe I should do a thumbnail now. Okay, thumbnail is done. So I'm just gonna open this up. And I am so sorry that I sound so sick, by the way. I feel like it's really not very nice to listen to sick people talk but after this I'm gonna make soup. Let's just kind of go through each of the things in here together. Okay so let's start with the first product and this is one that I had been eyeing off for a while so it's kind of like the more exciting one and it is the 100% pure multivitamin PM serum. So what I liked about this one is that it has a few different actives in it. So this is another reason why I find skincare a really difficult thing to get into because I feel like there is so much marketing around different skincare products it's sometimes hard to tell what's fact what's fiction obviously you can do your research and there are ingredients that can be really good for the skin however finding a product that has those ingredients and then has them at a percentage that is high enough to actually achieve a result is difficult and i feel like there's a lot of different skincare where it's like we've got some algae in here and we've got some of this and some spirulina and it's like i don't know whether those actually have any proven benefits for the skin i feel like there's a lot of fruity language that can be used around skincare products so yeah that's kind of where i stand with skincare but this one i was quite happy with it so it's got 10 percent vitamin c so we know that vitamin c is really good for fading dark spots only problem with vitamin c is that it is very difficult to stabilize it so vitamin c oxidizes very quickly so a lot of different products that have vitamin c the vitamin c is inactive or oxidized which is not going to be very effective so they claim that their vitamin c is stabilized i'm still not 100 percent sure about that but even if the vitamin c isn't completely active there are some other things in here that i'm still happy with so it also contains 10 percent niacinamide niacinamide as 
well can help to fade out dark spots and hyperpigmentation which is my major problem I don't know how many of you guys are like olive skinned ladies but when you have like a little bit of melanin in your skin even the slightest blemish will cause a hyperpigmentation quite a dark spot so whenever I get I don't get like proper acne very often I get like little blemishes sometimes but very rarely like full-on acne but even like the very slightest thing will cause a scar on my skin and it'll take a very very long time to fade out so I was kind of interested in trying a product like this and we'll see if it helps kind of even out my skin tone and fade those dark spots otherwise it's also got vitamin E, coenzyme Q10 and retinol 1% retinol but retinol is another really good ingredient for the skin it helps with skin cell turnover so again it's going to help kind of take off that excess layer of skin and fade dark spots all of that good stuff it's also kind of like the number one anti-aging ingredient however if you do want to use retinol the best way to do it is really to get a prescription retinol I have used prescription retinol in the past but it does cause your skin to flake a lot which I couldn't really deal with like I'd rather have the spots than have flaky skin because it was just a nightmare for makeup and everything but yeah so I am interested to try the retinol even if it's not as effective obviously as prescription maybe using it won't have the same effects of like really dry skin and still yield some level of benefit so yeah i'm really interested to try this one out as you can tell it's a fairly small bottle i think it's about 30 mils in here and the reason why i had been holding off on buying this one is because i think it retails for like 50 or 60 dollars which for 30 mils of product i don't know i'd have to know that it like it really works but nourish life was having a special deal so this one actually was half price so it was about 30 dollars so i was like this is my opportunity to try it at a decent price so for 30 bucks i'll see how it goes and i'll let you guys know what i think and the second thing that i got also from 100 percent pure is their eyeliner this is pretty much just restocking because i ran out of their eyeliner as you guys might know the 100 percent pure black tea liner is my favorite i just find that it works the best it's super black and it's kind of like glossy finish and if you watched one of my get ready with me videos you'll know that i bought the inica eyeliner and it just it wasn't very good so i figured i'd repurchase this one excited to have my favorite one back again and what was really good as well when i placed this order they were doing a deal where if you spend i think it was 49 dollars on 100 percent pure you got some free goodies so i'll show you guys those as well it was actually like some actually good stuff as well came in a little bag i don't know about the bag it's a pain isn't it because i don't really need another bag and i hate producing waste. I'll show you guys what we got as our kind of free gift but stuff that I would still like to try. First things first, this was kind of the thing that I was interested in and it is the 100% pure retinol restorative overnight balm. So again this is another retinol product. So this one was completely free and I think on its own it's like 50 or 60 dollars. Pretty generous deal. So again something that you use in the evenings you don't want to use retinol during the day because it does increase like UV light sensitivity so you can burn yourself pretty badly. I believe this one is also 1% retinol. I'll double check it. It doesn't say. So that is the other product that I am really excited to try. I think I'm going to keep all of these in the fridge just to kind of slow down oxidation. And then a few other things that they gifted that I'm interested to try is a few of the 100% pure face masks. So we have the Collagen Boost 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 face mask and also the wrinkle smooth sheet mask so you know 25 but we could all use a little bit of wrinkle smoothing can we i'm really interested to try the collagen one okay and this was kind of because i know that beck really loves the nourished life life basics nail polishes i got a new top coat that's not that interesting my old one was getting a bit gluggy and then i also just got a plain nude color this is in the shade nudie rudy so i love wearing nude shades i'm not like a really super bright color girl in terms of nails and in terms of like lip colors and all of those sorts of things but yeah beck raves about these ones in terms of like how quickly they dry and they're fairly not too badly priced i think they're about 15 dollars each the next two things not that exciting so I just bought a basic lip gloss I don't know this one was just a real cheapy one I think it was like nine bucks but I guess I was inspired because Beck's been really into lip glosses lately and I was like oh maybe 
I should give it a try. I didn't get any of the ones with color. I just thought I'd just get a kind of plain one, see how we like it. I have such a problem with my hair sitting in my face. So lip glosses are usually a problem, but I haven't tried one in a really long time. So I'll give it a go and I'll see how we go. This is just the Mineral Fusion brand. So it's a cheapie. This was just restocking something. And that is the Andalou Naturals Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk. And I really love this cleanser because it helps to remove makeup Makeup. So I don't actually use a makeup remover. I just use this stuff and a little muslin cloth and a really gentle around my eyes But just a really good basic cleanser. So that is pretty much everything that I bought from Nourish Life As you can tell the sales on there were pretty good. I managed to get a lot of different things for not too much money and I'm really interested to try out these two products so I'll keep you guys posted as to whether I like them or not otherwise today it's actually there's a few things that I really want to get done today number one I want to make a chicken soup for dinner so I have to get that started this morning basically because I want to like get better from this cold so having like something really warming easy to digest that's kind of like what I'm craving right now so I'm gonna make that this morning and I'll take you guys through that whole process and then I also have to finish off editing another vlog so the Perth vlog actually which will be up before this one and then just a few other things so just getting back to a few clients a few emails I might see Beck for lunch I'm not really sure because I'm sick at the moment I don't really want to like get Gabriel sick so we'll see what happens there I might see Beck for lunch might not see Beck for lunch I haven't seen her in like a week now and I usually see her like once or twice a week at least that might happen the apartment as well is just like a bomb hit it it's just such a mess, but we got back on Sunday, obviously, and it was kind of like we didn't leave it in the best state. And I can deal with like a bit of mess, but it's kind of getting to the point where you feel a bit icky and we have an inspection on Thursday. So got to get on top of that and clean everything up. So hopefully, I'll get that all done today and feel good. So I'll take you guys along for the rest of the day and yeah. Also, let me know what you think of like these more haul videos. I know there's like a certain number of you that are really interested in the skincare, like natural skincare and natural makeup. If you guys enjoy hauls, let me know, give this video a thumbs up. I don't do a lot of hauls because I don't buy a great deal of stuff, but I'll kind of like in the future maybe try and do like what I've done now, kind of like bundle up all my things and buy them together. So yeah, onwards with the day. I'm gonna go ahead and make my chicken soup for dinner tonight. So I'm actually gonna do it in the slow cooker, which is like my favorite way to make soup because you can throw it all together and then you have a meal at the end of the day. So I am just going to throw the chicken, throw the chicken, that sounds a bit violent. I'm gonna put the chicken into the slow cooker and just get that started. So yeah, I don't have to do too much more than that because I like to do the vegetables later on so that they don't get all soggy. Just gonna start with the chicken. So all I'm going to do is just put our chicken into our slow cooker, cover it with some water, throw in a few herbs, maybe some thyme or some oregano, and just turn that on for the next six hours or so until the chicken's kind of nice and soft and falling off the bone, and then we'll bone it out. By the way guys, I am just editing a vlog that's going to go up about Perth and seriously, watching this vlog makes me really happy. So if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. There is some very, very cute footage of cockers in there. Cockers, I'll explain what they are in the video, but if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. At the very least, I really enjoy watching this vlog. <laughs> also, I don't think I'm going to go to the gym today. I would normally go to the gym and it's been like a solid week since I've been to the gym, but since I'm a little bit sick, I'm just going to skip it for today. Hopefully by tomorrow, maybe I'll be feeling a little bit better, but yeah, not going to push it. So we'll see how we go. So it is about 11.30 and I'm just going to go around and tidy up this apartment. So while I do cleaning, I just like to turn on some music. The moment I have been listening to a lot of Billie Eilish. I discovered her a little bit earlier in the year and she's just so good. So I think she's actually got a new album or a bunch of songs releasing this week, which I am very excited about. I wish I could have gone to one of her concerts. She's playing in Brisbane in, I think, May, but 
The tickets sold out really, really fast and now they're only up for resale for like $400 a pop. So that's a bit of a shame, but I'm sure she'll come back at some point. So anyways, I'm just gonna turn on some music and I'm gonna get to cleaning up because like, I just, uh, no, the mess, no. We can't deal, so. That is what I'm gonna do, then probably make some food. It's been about an hour of cleaning and the apartment is looking so fresh and nice. I always have to remind myself that it actually doesn't take that long to clean up. So I just gave it a good vacuum and packed away all of my bags and stuff from the trip. I don't know how many of you guys are like me. Generally, when I come back from trips, it's like I dump all of my bags on the floor and they sit there for like the next week or a few weeks just because I never get around to unpacking it. So this time I've been good. I did it straight away. So everything's put away, you can wash everything, all good. Anyways, now I am going to go ahead and make some lunch. So it's gonna be pretty standard lunch for me today. Probably a salad bowl of some description. Actually, I take that back. I actually have some leftovers from last night from our, we made nachos for dinner last night. So I've just got like a savory mince and also a little bit of salsa. So I think I might just roast a bit of sweet potato. I'm gonna go ahead, make some sweet potato and then just top it with our mince and a little bit of salsa. Lunch is ready. I just had to do the sweet potatoes, which didn't take too long because if you cut them really thin, they cook really quickly in the oven. I love having leftovers because it makes me feel like I have a proper, like exciting lunch for the day. Whenever we cook stuff, we do try to like cook a little bit extra as well so that we can have it for lunches and it can take it to work, whatever we're doing that day. Also, if you're wondering about the recipe for these paleo nachos, I actually showed the recipe in our previous What I Eat In A Day video. So I kind of showed the recipe and how to make each part step by step. So yeah, if you're after the deets on this meal, that's where you can find it. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch. Okay, lunch is done. So I am just going to spend some time doing a little bit of learning and researching about some different types of testing that I've been interested in at the moment. So I'm just gonna watch actually like a little seminar about it. For those of you who don't already know, I offer naturopath consultations here in Brisbane, Australia. And I also do Skype consults online within Australia only. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of research this afternoon. And I'm also gonna have a little bit of chocolate. So this is the well naturally no sugar dark chocolate so you can buy these ones in Woolworths and Coles Woolies is usually better to buy them from but what's good about these ones is that they are sweetened using stevia and erythritol obviously we know stevia is a natural sweetener erythritol is a sugar alcohol so I really like this flavor it's a new flavor I think we haven't seen it before but it is a dark coconut rough flavor so it has a little bit of coconut in there it's so good if you haven't tried it yet I would highly recommend okay so it is about 3 34 ish I think and I'm gonna make the rest of this soup because the chicken has been in the slow cooker pretty much all day so that should be all done and what I'm gonna do is just chop up a bunch of different vegetables and put them into this giant pot and then I'm gonna bone our chicken take off all of the broth and put it into our pot and let that simmer for a while until all of our veggies are cooked. What I've got in front of me is just a pumpkin, some zucchinis, I have a leek, some silver beet and then some ginger and also a ton of garlic. So we've got five cloves. So not really a ton but you get what I mean and I think that's pretty much everything that I'm going to be putting into our soup and I'll probably also do a few little herbs but we'll see what happens. It's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do. 
making art you made trying to find something to believe because i'm running wild i ain't running free still got a lot of shit left to see stuck in this town and the town's stuck in me always trying to find another reason to leave but we sit at home all alone Okay, so as you can see, I've just popped most of our veggies into this giant pot. In here, I have got the pumpkin, the leek, the garlic, and the ginger. I think that's all. And then I've just got these separately. So I'm going to add them in at the end, just because they're a little bit more delicate and they don't require as much heating to get soft. So we've got our silver beet, which I'll wash and tear up again and throw in at the end. And then also some zoodles. I'll just add these right before we serve our dinner. So what I'm going to do now is is go over to our slow cooker and take out the broth. So I'm gonna strain off the broth, put it into the other pot, and then debone the chicken. By the way, this nail is really annoying me. I swear I don't have a mineral deficiency. I just slammed my finger in the bathroom door a couple of weeks ago now, and it's just like taking forever to grow out. But it doesn't look that hot. Less. We gotta keep going and hope for the best. Walk in the streets, just you. Okay, so I have deboned all of our chicken. And now I'm going to strain off the broth. So I'm just going to use this big bowl. And I've also got a small little like colander thing. This is not like as big as I'd like. I wish I had a bigger one of these, but this is what we're working with. And then I'm just going to pour our broth straight into here to strain out any small bones that might have come loose. And then we're going to put the broth into here. Wishing all the shit would just come to a stop. So now all you have to do is pop this onto the stovetop and I'm just going to boil it for a little while. We'll see how long it takes just for the pumpkin to soften and then it'll be all ready to eat. So the pumpkin is nice and soft, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some of our silver beet and then also our zoodles. These don't really take very long to wilt down, so it looks like a lot, but it's not really going to be a lot. So Nick is obviously home from work and dinner's ready. So obviously we have our soup here. Super good. Super, super good. Super gosh. It's terrible. It's unintentional. <laughs> so soup is really good. So soup is really good if you're feeling a little bit under the weather like I am. It's also really great for your gut health. My one recommendation would be that it is quite a lot of work. It's a little bit easier if you do it on a Sunday and then it lasts generally for a couple of meals. So it's like the first few days of the week you can have your pre-made soup and that's like even better because it's like all done for you and it makes the weeknights a bit easier but I'm making this on Tuesday today so yeah so I'm gonna wrap up this little kind of day in the life video here if you enjoy these kinds of casual vloggy style videos if you want to see more like hauls and natural beauty stuff give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and we will see you in our next video bye guys